What is up, Ninja Nation? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, hit that subscribe button, join Ninja Nation, and you're not going to want to miss out because I have two interviews coming up for you shortly. One with Matt Brash, who may be the filthiest pitcher in baseball, and the other with Lucas Litke of the Yankees. So hit that subscribe button, and here are my filthiest pitches of the day. We're going to start with Carlos Carrasco. Cookie had eight strikeouts in five innings, mostly due to the split change. Look how filthy this thing is. Corey Kluber, another former Indian, turned back the clock a little bit. Klubot's breaking ball was wicked, including one that moved 22 inches glove side. Kind of looks like prime Kluber. I like this overlay from Tanner Houck. Here's his splitter and his slider overlaid, and you can see what makes that combo so tough. The slider starts outside the splitter and ends up way inside. Just a ton of horizontal movement. The White Sox had several filthy pitches yesterday. You see this breaking ball by Michael Kopech. Jose Ruiz king the side with these nasty change-ups. Reynaldo Lopez almost making Yandy Diaz quit baseball with this slider. I mean, look, he looks like he's going to leave, and he still has a strike left. And then Liam Hendricks closed the game with this wicked slider and goes full on Liam. Hendricks is insane, and I love it. Ian Anderson had seven Ks and five and two-thirds, giving up only two hits, and you can see why. Look at his changeup. He doesn't get insane movement on his changeup, but look at this overlay and see how well he repeats his mechanics and where he releases the ball. Noah Syndergaard also had some filthy changeups, including this almost decapitation. Josh Stalmont had this wicked curveball and then 101 mile an hour heat. And check out the movement on these sinkers from Clay Holmes. I mean, with that sink and that arm side run of about 17 inches, wow. Speaking of wow, check this out from Justin Verlander. His breaking balls were insane yesterday. His curveball was getting up to 65 inches of drop. I mean, that coming in in the upper 70s, good luck. You can see why he had eight Ks in eight shutout innings and only gave up three hits. He looks like a prime Justin Verlander. But my filthiest pitcher of the day, that would be Hunter Green. Green threw 39 pitches at over 100 miles an hour in this game, which is the most in the StatCast error. The nearest to him was Jacob deGrom at 33. And his fastball had movement running up to 14 inches. But the most mind-blowing thing were these overlays. Look at the overlays of his fastball and his slider. This illustrates as well as you can why every hit in Major League Baseball is a minor miracle. You have virtually no time to tell a difference between these two pitches, and they start out looking the same. That slider dives to the dirt, and that fastball keeps its plane and runs arm side. It makes me almost feel sorry for hitters. Last, but certainly not least, y'all remember Roki Sasaki, right? Through a perfect game last outing with 19 strikeouts. Well, he was at it again yesterday. He threw eight perfect innings with 14 strikeouts. What prevented him from throwing back-to-back -back perfect games? Well, they pulled him in the ninth inning. So he now has 17 consecutive perfect innings with 33 strikeouts over that time period. Freaking, he's a pitching ninja. And now, the Pitching Ninja Moment of Zen. 